What to do if the startup repair tool is unable to fix the boot problem? The first thing you can do is to run the SFC tool to scan the system for any damaged or corrupted system file or driver. If SFC finds a corrupted file, it will replace it with the original version. In the example we are going to cover, the startup repair tool was unable to fix the boot issue. So I'm going to press the advanced options button to display the troubleshooting menu. Click on troubleshoot, click on advanced options, then I click on the command prompt. In a previous lesson, we have seen that to run the SFC tool, you have to type the command SFC slash scan now to start scanning the system files. But if I run the SFC tool with these parameters, it will attempt to scan the Windows recovery system and not the Windows 10 installation, which is offline. So I need to tell SFC not to scan the live system, but the offline Windows 10 installation by adding to the command the path to my Windows 10 installation. To do that, I use the bcd edit command. Under the Windows bootloader, I have the drive ladder of my Windows 10 installation. So I'm going to use this information in my SFC command parameters. The offboot dir parameter will tell the SFC tool where to find my Windows 10 installation. In my case, it's on the E drive. The slash offwin dir parameter tells SFC the path to the Windows 10 folder. Finally, I will ask SFC to generate a log file after completing scanning the system files. And I give the path and the name of the log file. OK. SFC starts scanning the system, and this process can take some time. I'm going to pause the video and resume when the task completes. The scan has complete, and the result says that Windows Resource Protection found the corrupt files, but was unable to fix some of them. So it seems that SFC has successfully repaired some files, but failed to repair some others. So let's see if the repaired file can make Windows 10 boot properly. I click on the continue button to boot my windows. It seems that Windows 10 is booting properly. I'm going to log to my session and check the log file generated by the SFC tool. Here is the log file. Here is the result of the task performed by SFC. So it's very detailed and can contain many lines. Let's scroll down. With all this information, I can't see at first glance what was the problem the SFC found and fixed it. So to find the problem quickly, I'm going to do a search on the keyword corrupt. Yes, there is something here. SFC has found a corrupted file under this path. It was the storeport.sys file. The SFC repaired the corrupted file. So when the startup repair is unable to repair the boot failure, the SFC tool can come in rescue and solve the problem. Thanks for watching. See you at the next lesson.